Hello everybody, and of course, welcome back to Dickie's videos, where no war game, well, no Field of Glory is ever unplayed. So, here we are again with Field of Glory 2 Medieval, and of course, my overview battle with the uh, epic Richard uh, Bo Brody Scott... I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong always. So remember, we did play a, a mirrored game, and you've seen the English, uh, and I'm hopefully you've seen the French before watching this. And this is kind of my um, breakdown, I want to say. So here we are. I've got to say, out of the French and English, I am the most uncomfortable with the French forces. But knowing what I know now after playing, because the, the issue is I played these both at the same time, so I didn't realise what the French powers were until I played with the English and vice versa. Um, so, realistically, um, a couple of points before we start this uh, kind of... How long is this video, actually? This I can't... This is only half an hour, actually. Go on, Bennett, you, you made light work of me here. So, my first mistake, as you can see... Very few units of knights. Uh, the power of the French forces, of course, are here in the cavalry. Um, and the infantry just support uh, why everybody else hammers in, like the Zulus, like the Bullhorns, and kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. But they're all out of gum. Or, or French wine. Um, so there's a couple of issues I've made a uh, problem so far. But, you know, I've made use of the Low Country Spearmen, which we know from watching the English game are tough baguettes. That's the way I can describe it. They are tough old baguettes. But don't ever forget the defensive armoured defensive spearmen, but also the contingent of... Um, it's like I'm drawing a little picture there. Um, the contingent of... Um, crossbowmen so there we go we, we, we've labeled the bad things i've done but you know I, I like to think i still use the cavalry um to my advantage you know i use the crossbowmen uh i gotta say really fun playing richard and i'm playing in two more games so in the next couple of days ladies and gentlemen you'll see um what i was playing uh but as you can see him using english forces he hid a lot of his forces in that wood it was particularly a good um a good tactic from richard and it took me off guard because most of the big block the welsh spearmen uh the big block spearmen are actually um uh they're medium foot so not affected by rough terrain which makes this game ugh. second point in this game of course i wasted a massive proportion of my heavy cavalry on the right side um the fact is that cavalry needs to get in there it needs to bloody you it needs to punch people in the face and go on it so remember Leon, don't click this forget to that ugh, click that like and subscribe button and come back for more content i like said i like going these little video talk throughs i know it's not everybody's cup of tea but uh I, people keep asking me to talk through my tactics you see my tactic here was of course to try and pivot this battlefield to a diagonal to get away from that forest but um he baited me in towards a particularly bad piece of terrain and i just as you can see he's got he's took the advantage of mounted crossbowmen there uh, but also uh, he's got four units of knights one with a commander in it i think it's either the jet the cnc or the sub general i can't remember which uh it's got loads of light archers plus some javelin troops to the left you know i'm particularly going to have to move to this position to engage him um completely uh out covered on this left side straight away i should have started to move some of the cavalry from the right side to the left side um but tomato tomato and of course there is a tub general there but mm, pretty good but we're just going to advance i think i'm happy enough to switch to a good point of the field where we he, he sub didn't surprise me i think we can switch forward to eight minutes so seven minutes 29 this is of course he started to retract some of the army on the right side so i couldn't actually see it um and literally this is where i start pushing and you can see the welsh spearmen um spearmen are particularly defended quite well in that uh, piece of terrain i'm I, i've been out, out positioned completely here i don't know it yet but i have been and that right side is taking a vast majority of my points you think about the points in the cavalry there is a huge amount of points there on my on my on my right side you know i keep forgetting my camera is actually mirrored and it's wrong um but yeah the the cavalry here is is i'm just making ill use of it but i'll, I'll only do that once and this is the game i've done it in of course Field of Glory 2 shines, of course, in the single player, but also in the multiplayer against a human opponent. And this is what I like about it, is that you can make horrid mistakes. I mean, I've got to say, 
I enjoy my wins, but I, I enjoy my losses because I learn so much more about them. Uh, and, everybody, and it's just a, another learning point for when you guys start playing uh, medieval in the future. Uh, of course, we come down to me. This, this is the light fight. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to weaken them Welsh spearmen down a little bit. Spearmen, um, because they're a massive block of men. Good point. I'll always take them in a list like that. And there's my cavalry yet again wasted um i try and get cocky with some of the uh crossbow cavalry um and of course he's positioned well on that hill to the left where he's got the good poa value uh, of the hill but also the the killing knights on a hill with more poa they don't need it they just, just they're just gonna kill you um here we go some of my crossbowmen here getting a little bit shot up i get lucky um on the left side with one of my cavalry units um, because here I'm just trying to be a bit of an arse. I'm just trying to outmanoeuvre him st or try and do some craziness here uh, against his crossbowmen. But all we, the cross, the mounted crossbowmen aren't particularly well good because they're, they're meant to be anti-armour and that and in a armoured warfare that we are fighting medieval. The fact is that's a good thing to have. Completely out, outmatched on this left side. You see, he used the, the advantage of the English uh, better infantry against me where i should have used my knights uh, and relied less on my infantry but you see him hiding on that rough terrain probably gave him a couple of good poas there that to honestly i got i got pressured halfway through here thinking i'm gonna have to really push but he's he's baited me well here um, and like i said i do lose this but I've, I've got a massive learning curve which i'll never do again um but it's it's fun to, and the, like I said, the, the nice thing about Field of Glory 2 and of course Field of Glory Medieval, you find yourself in very unique situations in certain points, and this is one of them. Um, here we go again, them crossbowmen yet again, weakening down my mounted crossbowmen, disrupting, but I get a little bit cocky here on that left side uh, where the crossbowmen are here. I get lucky with this unit more than anything else. <laughs> it's just nice that I do get slightly lucky with it and I can actually, I actually charge one of his units down. It, it becomes, I think, quite a form. As you see, the cavalry on the left side now formed up, ready to uh, hurt me. And now, finally, he can bring in his reserves of spearmen you know, them spearmen will lose against cavalry eventually. If I get, if you get lucky with a charge and the POA advantage is just high enough for them to drop to disrupted, your cavalry will just mince through them in a couple of turns. Um, but it's a couple of turns in there. We go. I get slightly cocky, but you see that that's the point here. That's the bad point because he's on a hill, I'm on the blow. It, it's slightly even steel, but when he's on the hill and he's going to charge us, it's not great. Here we go. I decided to have, luckily get a, a really good um, uh, fragment job. You know what? That cavalry unit causes quite a lot of aggro for him um, in the uh, later game where it actually manages to turn around uh, and charge with his cavalry. So here we go. He is not moving. He does not want to move, but I'm happy to sit there shooting him up. Um, but remember, the infant... The, the bonus in the English list is, of course, the infantry uh, mixed by the cavalry. It's all about combined arms. I find just, you know, I think I take what Richard said off the uh, stream, like I think I mentioned in the other video actually as well, just mixing it up. But I just waste several hundred points. And I'll, I look at it now and think, yeah, I did that wrong. That's hindsight for you. Of course, you're still advancing up. Now I'm trying to take the advantage of having them crossbow on the left side. Unfortunately, ha not firing at full arc there, so they're going to be less effective. But also they moved at long range, of course, even decreasing their effectiveness. You know, I was happy because my mounted crossbowmen were in combat. Um, there's the charge, and it was... Oh, I didn't... Oh about me going back to that we're gonna we're gonna say i think he was particularly in the poa you can you can pause that to see if he was i'm sure he was in the advantage but he's got me outnumbered uh and my infantry of course medium foot they are going to get railed there we go he got the rear unlucky for me but he's formed up all around that rough piece of train which Chanta, i didn't notice in the english game i just went for him bloody i just went for him like a madman but now that cavalry on the left side slipping through, uh, particularly not friendly. So here we go. I decide to start shooting up here. You see, he took some Irish kerns or keens, have you pronounced them, which was surprising to me. He, got, he, took, he took a couple of units actually that hid in the woods and that do show an appearance further on in the game. Um, but we're happy here just to sit shooting him, uh, moving the crossbow into position. Of course, here now, 
trying to lessen the impact of that left side charge. There we go. We get this be uh, a spearman defensive in there, which are going to really hurt them things that they cover him in there. So of course, bringing the uh, javelin troops to the centre to shoot, and is this in a, uh, a slight disadvantage? There's a massive disadvantage actually than I thought. And here we go. I just start to edge up. Uh, to do, get some charges, but as you can see, he's got two units of cavalry in the rear, which could easily slip to the right and flank us, which which they do, um, and just massacre us. I don't understand why I did that. There we go. We're moving slightly up, but we we didn't choose that many knights. I think you, every field that you can field knights, you need to field them because your opponent will field them, and then will dominate that field. So remember, ladies and gentlemen. Knights are right. That's going to be my uh, thing now. Knights are right. <laughs> um, but here we go. The cavalry now taking that advantage. My spearmen can hold the line, some line to them, but not as much. There we go. We hold firm there. And this is where I get absolutely cheesy with that crossbowman to the left. I think somehow, I can't remember how he actually gets up to the, uh, the top there. There we go. The crossbowman punishing me. Medium foot just coming push out. I mean... I've noticed with Richard's gameplay that he does fall back certain units at certain times. Um, more than probably I do. I hardly ever, like, move a unit back here. And it's certainly interesting when I'll, I will highlight it when I see it. But I go, I'm thinking, I've got to move up. Got to get, get them crossbowmen early in there. Um, what's the French? Frank? I can't remember what the French, uh, the French currency is. Well, it's the euro now, but I don't know what it was then. Uh, here we go, moving the crossbow to the right, which was a mistake because they are now unprotected. But here we go, I'm like, yes, all green. Green means go, using your knights. There we go, four back. And slightly should have just holded back here. But now, like I said before in other games when playing Field of Glory 2, if you can't beat them in the PO impact, just zone to control them out because controlling where they are is half the battle. And that's what he's doing on that right side. He's controlling where I can push them without taking cohesion checks. Um, here we go. Now I'm realising I'm completely outflanked with knights. Because knights are right in Field of Glory Medieval. Um, here we go. I slipped that cavalry unit through, which I was quite happy here with. Because now I can... I actually get a run... I get quite a good flank with them uh, later on. Here we go. The... Uh, Welsh Spearman just taking them shots for days. Maybe this is what he wanted me to do in that centre, is to waste my light troops shooting at them. Because that's what all I do the entire game, is shoot at his Welsh Spearman. And, and I think it's probably a waste. Um, but I try not to get too close to get dragged into that rough terrain. And there we go. Uh, we're on what turn? Oh, wait a second. There we go. Okay, we spend a lot of turn time actually manoeuvring here. Yeah, that, now my knight's slightly disadvantaged is turn them mounted crossbow to the right the ones at the north have just turned around um here we go now look i said this is what i said he's he's controlling my zone of control he's not charging he's just blocking blocking is half the point there and this is what i realize now watching this again he didn't want to destroy me he just wanted to keep me there as long as possible choking up them points we're in turn 11 out of 24 um but that's the point and now it's me panicking, trying to charge to break them, which I do eventually. But, yeah, this is where I go wrong. You see his knights at the top actually turn around to the right, trying to come at us. So, interesting points there. And I see that more now, What rewatching the video. Uh, here we go again, trying to punish the Welsh Spearman, but such a big unit. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done that. Because he could have just formed squares and left. There we go. I charged the mounted crossbowman up there. And this is where I turn them around to get that flank. Uh, but we're in a bad, bad magic turn to this left side. But still in, very interesting me watching this. Because I, I, I've learned actually how we played this. And I think how it's meant to be played. Because knights are, knights are good units they need to be taken uh, if you're not utilizing them you're making your enemy stronger and the french list is that um you know we'll look into allies later on in a couple of days time with another video we go try and charge again like i said it's all about that trying to get that impact straight away getting that um getting that drop of cohesion especially on them defensive spearmen you probably will be able to hold up. here we go i'm panicking here because my knights are getting chewed up there 
so we're about just over halfway from this game to be finished. And of, and of course, like you said, he does win there again. That night unit just cannot hold it. General fell, broke. And them knights just chomping down that middle left section. There we go. He did do the overcharge, but I'm happy for that to happen. And I can just push on down to Chinatown. There we go. We are disrupted, but maybe a disrupted unit can still charge and still take that uh, p uh, positive charge on the flank. Now the knights on the right, which are now pouring down to my outer control, zone of controlled cavalry, uh, which is just bad. There we go. Hold, and then he tries to charge against the crossbowman, and it's all green, all grey before him. And now we can start pouring stuff out. But the cavalry now just affecting that left side. Oh, and there's the armoured spearman getting bloody disrupted. And then he thinks, yes, yeah, a field day now. The Welsh spearman can just push out, and they did. Fragmented. I think they maybe maybe slightly unlucky there for me looking back at this. Um, but he he chose, and we did get a nice little cheeky flank here. Um. But was pretty good, and I don't think this 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 was as good as as I was hoping it. I think I wasted these knights, absolutely wasted them all through this game. Um, but you live and learn. You live and learn. This is this is what I'm not going to do again. <laughs> but the problem is, I've already started playing other games where I think I've made slight mistakes. Um, but that's the way it is. So here we go. There's only controlling again. Here we go. Is that flank nice long AP point? Sixteen AP points for them. Dismount them. Um, for them. Bleh. For the mounted crossbowman, good range. You see, it's just so bad, so bad trying to charge them knights because um that you see with that when they just where the um where these are, it's just a bad day now. It's a bad day for me. We are going to get absolutely trolled here. You know what? This is such a good game. This one is actually even even though the, it was a loss. I've got I've I've learned a lot just in this. Especially when playing the French list again, and I mean some of the Welsh women have been thing here but i now pushed on the mistake of the century yet again he's not going to charge me he's just going to keep me locked in that zone of control and that's half the battle one right there for him because he doesn't have to move there we go we decided to charge just to try and stop them units but unfortunately get disrupted it's like oh just a bad look and but two of my low country spearmen aren't doing anything and you see the comparison from the welsh spearmen to the um uh, the Welsh woman to the low country woman. I'm heavy foot. He's medium foot. I will have to just check a look at his list again. Do they get cohesion checked? Oh, and look again. Charging the knights. It did not go well. And of course, the crossbow are going to take a massive kick in there. But yeah, slight. A slight more win on that left side, but then the left side cavalry is just coming down. It is just here we come, coming home, son, coming home. Here we go. Oh, fragmented the spearman at the same time. Now he's just at right into that mid flank, and I'm not sure why I didn't start panicking right now because <laughs> cavalry, 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 cavalry. It's just a different form of warfare when I when I when I'm sit when I'm you know playing. Field of Glory 2, Ancients, and then I come to this, and it's just a whole different ball game. And I can't wait for further DLC and different stuff like that. It's going to be amazing. If this, if this is how good it is, this, I can't imagine it stuff being added to him. But yeah, that cavalry, you know, I'm trying to grind down, but he's got a 14% lead here. And of course, it's just going to get higher. And then there goes the Spearman into the Cavalryman. Oh, disrupted. And you can see his cavalrymen taking their sweet ass time around that right side, but they've got all the time in the world because I'm zone controlled out. And there we go. He pushed forward the infantry to block. Uh, now the cavalry moving there. I was happy that I got pushbacks here, but not that I didn't break. I thought his spearmen may break a bit sooner than this. This is why I was being slightly confident with that, but unfortunately, with overconfidence comes death. And here we are. He's got plenty of time to move anything he wants to. Yeah, the low country spearmen just didn't make an impact because I didn't particularly use them. There we go. I get slightly cocky against the Irish uh, uh, Kearns, Keens, Kearns, but he's outnumbered me and he can outposition me there. So I just fed straight into his trap there. But regardless, it was uh, you go like, please fragment, please save me. And I think actually two of my units to race up the right side of the board in some sort of noble, zealous, overzealous charge. Um, 
so this is probably where I, I do waste a lot of them units. But that cavalry has really worked its magic on the mid left and left flank. The fact is now it's just a, a matter of time for them to grind down and destroy us. But oh, can't even touch them knights. But yeah, I mean, I'm in a bit of trouble there. The defensive spearmen against, you know, there's a, a Welsh spearman plus cavalry plus two other units of crossbowmen looking down. But yeah, here we go. I've noticed as well. Um, two of the games, I know you shouldn't really chuck your light infantry out of my bloody stickler for it chuck your light infantry right at the enemy but I've got to say there's been a high percentage of times the cavalry has always caught the archers here we go, got pushed back still not happy, I've, I've made a couple of mistakes with zone of control on the centre and on the right side here This is where he starts coming home. Oh, the flank on the dismounted crossbowmen. Just keep them stuck there. I mean, trying to break that fragmented unit, but then they are fragmented spearmen. Here we go now. He's confident enough now to push out with the uh, Welsh spearmen onto the centre line. So that mid left, that left side is slightly mine, apart from that one unit of cavalry that's just hacking away at my infantry. There's the flanks. He's just sitting pretty now. Here come the geek kerns. And then it's going to be two on one, and then it turns out to be three on one after that. Here we go, break the arches on the mid left section, uh, which is quite good for us there. But he's got more to chuck into the frying pan, so we're just saying, there we go, that unit of cavalry breaks on the right, it just sends them two cavalry units uncontrolled. But now he's got two perfect flanks on that right side. But now the score is slightly more even now. Um, we did a bit of break and thing, but he has command. That goes a long more way. So we turn 14 and we're probably, we're around how long we are. Actually, we're about seven minutes off the end of the game. So we might as well continue this. I might as well talk all the way through it. Um, there we go. We're trying to break them nights yet again. Not through disruption or anything, but by general grinding them down. You see, the combination now is crossbowmen, zone of control. But if they get in combat with some weaker unit, they are going to absolutely twat them and these welsh spearmen are just harsh here we go i i, I give up there and form square because <laughs> i'm like what the hell am i gonna do here but yeah here we go me trying to change my direction so if we do get charged it might not be a flank great disruption that should have happened before but that happens there we go again trying to punish the spearmen but they're a big unit and i regret now engaging that tactic and maybe concentrating on the cavalry uh, and other important units or even hold it back and not push further because can you think about here i've split me on into two sections here you know the cavalry section on the right and then the infantry and cavalry on the left which i think separately didn't perform as well if they would all together and i fall back here unfortunately disruption but i fell in i pushed forward against that spearman unit so that was my fault completely and here we go i'm desperate chucking the uh <laughs> bloody crossbowman in there But there we go. Particularly weak down, the cav my cavalry on the left is about to go down. My crossbowmen are about to get eaten by these bloody tanks on horses. And there they go. Uh, does he hit this unit? No, he doesn't. He just chomps on down. But I think looking at relooking this, I got quite unlucky with some of these drops. A couple of them were especially the uh, defensive spearmen on the mid left section that dropped quite easily. That I, I think that was just slightly unlucky. My bad positioning didn't help. Um, did that change the... So he charged the flank of the guys on the right, which fragmented them. That actually changed their facing straight away. There we go. Now we're just going to eat them cavalry to the... That's a lot of points there. That is just slightly wasted against... To be honest with you, I think his... The, the points he chucked against the cavalry... There we go. We had a double drop on the crossbowman there. Does that disrupt anybody else? No. But it's not great combat. There we go. Three on one. The two kerns and the raw spearmen. Oh. Without the will in the world, they aren't going to hold that unit for long. And there we go. The, just the Welsh spearmen at the low country spearmen, which I moved back and got disrupted. And then they just finished them off. There we go. They char See, that, that cavalry unit charged the... Uh, that cavalry unit charged and got them straight away. And I've noticed that a couple of times where they've actually just got them straight away. 
There we go. We've got to continue on the left, but then watch this. Oh, drop. This is where it just, like, just kind of snowballs. It's, it's two dismounted cavalry units. It's two mounted crossbow units are back on the left after that small engagement back and forth. He's now got command of the field. Lots of units are too fragmented, three fragmented, I can see on the screen. Um, and what are we are about 28 minutes into the game here in in time i form i leave the square because i'm just thinking oh bad squad of a bang we chuck it into the uh, armored spearman i can't remember if my general dies here or not but we're getting absolutely pummeled by them for units See, I was hoping here they would break and then I would come on home and do a flank, but that didn't happen. I can dream. I can dream that was going to happen. But then I go, yeah, go on into lad every year. And I think they explode. Yes, they do. There you go, the auto break. <laughs> that was like a big percentage back. Um, but yeah, we're just completely, completely messed up here. Wasted crossbow bolts there. There we go, trying to punish them. Cavalrymen doing particularly uh, nothing. And I'm running away here. Oh, look at this. Got two units that are bad. And the two cavalry units on the right side are unfortunately just away. There we go, fragmented. Oh, it's just going to fall. And this unit here. Got to say, the, the knight models are beautiful. Things are beauty here. So couple of things the low country spearmen had to bugger all here we go oh we're off firm there actually surprising here do they go here there oh off they go lads back to wherever the low countries are then goes the archers see them units are way too close see i should have maybe not pushed too far yeah, that, he said that might be it, so I think this is the last turn. Good rally there on the spearman to the right, engaged with that cavalry. So once they explode, it's bye-bye, Mr. Chips. There we go. Shoot to shoot. They hold, but yeah, he's holding the main field here. We are just straggles of unit in line. There they go. The cavalry hold it on the right. Is it gone? Hold firm, despite perilous situation. Hold firm. He holds firm on the right. Here's the flank attack against the spearmen. They hold firm. Defensive spearmen here, the armoured ones are getting pummeled. There we go, turns for the flank. I think this was just uh, just in case they hold, uh, the game doesn't break. So I just remember having less units on that left side, but we seem to have quite a high contingent of infantry that if it hanged on, maybe would have slightly come, not massively even, but maybe slightly more even. There we go, lost heart. I'm going to pause this at a good point where I can see the entire battlefield. Come, Mr. York. Here we go. That was actually my, here we go. Brilliant, so we can stop it there. So we lost it, we did, and we learned from that. And I'm going to just point out a couple of issues. Um... We are a good loser as well. So, my line started here. Uh, we had, of course, a couple of units of cavalry to the uh, left. Um, we had the main body of infantry, which was wasted. And then we had that whole block of cavalry to the right. So, I should have evened my cavalry out. I shifted my entire force to the left completely. Um, I should have even the cavalry up both sides. I should have had more cavalry on this left side. Or at least I should have um, shifted my infantry here and moved a proportion of my cavalry to the left to support my other cavalry unit um, and then drawn him out here. Uh, and then hopefully he would have drawn this out eventually. But you know what? I got particularly outpositioned. I mean, I did some good things occasionally in that game, but it was extremely difficult to pull off against Richard because he just played amazingly. Um... But yeah, he got, I got unlucky with some double fragments and some things that probably should have held a bit longer. Um, like I said, on that right side, he played particularly well in, remember, not winning the combat. It was holding me in place. And that was enough for us, him to beat me there. And that was really good play. And then using infantry to block while the couple of cavalry units sneaked in between the two infantry blocks and just did some shenanigans. But wow, 
fantastic. Really enjoyed that game because I learned a lot after watching it. I enjoyed doing, I learned a lot watching this back and talking about it because I know where I went wrong and where hopefully I could improve after a couple of games. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, to of course click the like and subscribe button, but also go and check the Slytherin store to find Field of Glory 2 Medieval down there. Come and support the game and the community because it has been it is a fantastic community uh, full of like-minded and fun gamers. But remember, every game of Field of Glory 2 or any strategy game, just remember the main thing is just to have fun, enjoy the game, and of course, have a great time. And I'll see you on, of course, the next Medieval Battlefield or somewhere else. And bye-bye.